We have come to survey the far northern reaches of the outer edge of the Great Barrier Reef off of Cape York Peninsula. I got to be one of the few ROV pilots I've ever got to experience the Great Barrier Reef. I would say it surpassed my expectations. I think they found somewhere around 30 new species. The results from the multi-beam mapping has completely exceeded our expectations. The maps themselves have revealed the stunning complexity of the topography of these seascapes. The recent expedition to the edge of the Great Barrier Reef was amazing for its discoveries. The very tall 500 metre new detached reef it's got a wider base and it comes up to a narrower top. And the top sits about 40 metres below sea level. This is just an example of how little we know what's out there. This is a 500 metre tall feature, so it's bigger than the Empire State Building and the Petronas Tower. It would be like if you were walking around and you had no idea that the Empire State Building was right in front of you. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that looks like a Dumbo. Oh. <gasps> it is a Dumbo. Is it? It looks like a Dumbo. It is. Oh, wow. Wow. This is the trip made for me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I can go home now. <laughs> it's a little squid. It's a little... Oh, God, it's so cute. Look at the size of it. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, an enemy. That... It's just the kind of an enemy that you have an enemy fish. And there's and there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. But when I'm sitting there and I'm flying, and the scientists who do this for a career are still getting excited, that makes me excited. They really are passionate about this, and that passion goes throughout our vessel. It makes us all happy and gives us a sense of purpose of why we're there and why we're doing all this, why we're separated from our families through these long times. It is for the greater good, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Right now, only 20% of the entire sea floor has been mapped. It's like living in a three-floor house, and you only know what's on the first floor. You don't know if there's medicine or clothes or furniture. You don't know anything on the other two floors. So all of the new mapping that we have achieved on this expedition contributes to our understanding of the deep seascape of the marine park and the World Heritage Area. And the more and more that we learn about our oceans, what effects that we can do to make it worse also helps us know what can make it better and how to preserve what we have.